All right. Hey, Andrew, good morning. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> On a little, a little early this morning. Shad, good morning, brother. How are you? How you guys doing? Andrew, what are you up to uh, this week? Shad, how's business going? Appreciate you guys jumping on. I'm, uh, I'm a little uh, early, so I'm going to share this with a few people, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. Doesn't look like it's going to let me. Gabe, yo, what's up, man? I owe you a phone call, man. I apologize. Appreciate you guys coming on. We got some cool stuff I want to talk about today. It's the last <clears throat> last Friday of the month, but I'm I'm early, so just bear with me here, fellas. Had a good week this week. Shad, you've been busy with the uh with your business. I've been tracking what you're doing there. You're staying pretty busy with that, man. Good for you. That's good stuff. Good stuff. What else? What else do we got going on? Andrew, are you out and about? Yo, what's up? Well, look at that. See? Try sharing this stuff and it acts weird. Oh well. That's fine. We'll do it later. No worries. So what's good with everybody this week? What's good? Uh let's see here. Headstone cleaning tomorrow morning at Stones River Battlefield Center. Oh wow. That's cool. There he is, Travis. What's up, brother? Great interview yesterday, man. Appreciate you guys jumping on early. I jumped on it like I started early, and I was like, oh, I'll just jump on here early and kind of get situated. I appreciate you guys jumping on. Always love seeing you guys. I'm uh, I'm gonna start. Uh, I think we're gonna get started. I'm a couple minutes early. I'm gonna get started, but I, I kind of and I didn't have this in my notes, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start. I'm, we're in the middle of doing a audio book for a gentleman right now, and if you guys want a really cool read uh, right now, you can find his book on Amazon. The audio book will come out later this this fall, uh, but it's called. If only I were God, one's man's solution to the problem of pain and suffering. And the author's name is Frank Fanella. And I'm going to show you guys uh, right there. Very interesting book. Um, let's do it one more time. So uh, you can find it on Amazon. It's a really cool read. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying working with him. Uh, we're doing the audio book and stuff, and we'll have that later on. Uh Hopefully here next couple months. Uh, let me see here. Uh, VFW National Convention in July. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right around the corner. Andrew, where is that going to be? I haven't even looked at it yet. Where is that this year? It was funny. One year, I think it was a couple of years ago, it was down in Ocean City, Maryland, and I just happened to be vacation. We were vacationing down there uh, at the same time, and I was like, God, it's like all these VFW people around here and realized that that was – and this was before I was a – full-blown member hmm. all right um, June PTSD awareness month it's the last this this today is the last Friday of June and we talk about awareness and I saw a post uh, actually this morning from from uh, a friend and it was like enough with the awareness let's go with with uh, and it wasn't directed at me per se, uh, but it was like, enough with awareness, let's be about it. And uh, that resonated with me, uh, and we do need to do more, I think. Um, at the same time, here's the one thing that, that has bothered me, and and by all means, this is for all of you out there that are watching, I, I haven't seen anything mainstream media, I haven't seen much on social media about PTSD Awareness Month. Not a lot of people have, have brought it up. That I've seen. I, if I'm wrong, th th tell me. I haven't seen really it anywhere, quite frankly. So, um, so I, I think I think it's something that 
you know, we, it, it still needs to be discussed. Uh, check your battle buddies. You know, I'm, I'm fortunate enough that all of you, everybody here that's made a comment, Andrew, Travis, you know, uh, Gabe, Shad, I mean, you know, and I know there's others out there watching right now, but, but these guys that have, that have left comments here, I, I know these guys personally, uh, and I consider them all family. You know, Andrew, we have a great time when we're together. Travis, Travis and I have hung out just a couple of times and we've pretty much like the cities have not been the same since. Uh, and I'm only looking forward to some other stuff. Uh, but I, you know, Shad, we haven't met face to face, but we have good conversation. I'm just, I want to say thank you to all of you, uh, out there, you guys that have left comments and all of you that watch this, uh, I'm blessed. I'm blessed because I have people out there and you got to check your battle buddy. So, and know that, that we are here for all of you, uh, as well. So if you're out there watching this, um, know that we're here for you. If you need somebody to talk to or whatnot, then, then reach out to me, uh, and reach out to the HMG family. We're, we're here to help. That's what we, we want to do. You don't have to do anything alone, whether it's you're suffering through something or you're just, just struggling a little bit with business, whatever the case may be, reach out to us. Oh, and my dear friend, Denise, good morning from Arizona. And it's an early morning there right now. Denise, thank you for jumping on. I appreciate you. Denise, uh, if you're still on make a note, we got to link up next week. Mm. All right. Um, let me see here. What else do we have? Um, very briefly, I'm not going to talk about this much, but last week I, I sent out a challenge to people on look up what the World Economic Forum's mission was. And I've gotten a couple of... of um, text messages on it um so i want to keep that conversation just kind of going but if if you don't know what the world economic forum's mission is look it up it is uh it's quite interesting and it, it's very eye-opening so take a look at that judy good morning how are you dear appreciate you jumping on have ideas for brewing oh of course <laughs> i love this this is all good stuff love it um Listen, I said I mentioned that this is uh, the last Friday of, of June, so we're we're halfway through 2022 already. So, what are your guys' goals for the rest of the year? We're gearing up because next Friday starts the really part two of this year, right? And as I was, you know, I was working out this morning, um, and I was thinking, man, I can't believe it's the end of June already. July is next week. You know, you got the 4th of July coming up, Independence Day coming up. And it's like, even more so, it's the second half of the year. Like, what have I gotten done? And sometimes we get so tunnel vision into what we're doing that we kind of forget how far we've actually come. And uh, it's this has been a good year for us uh, here at HMG. We've had a lot of new shows come on board. We've got to meet a lot of new people. We've had new events and stuff that's come up. And uh, we, you know, the network has expanded, and it, it's, it's awesome. And I'm excited for what the rest of the year holds. And I say that because it, it's also like you look at everything that's kind of going on in the world, and it's like... <laughs> you know, high gas prices, this and that. And it's just kind of like, well, let's focus on the positive. And the positive thing is, one, we're still here. I got you lovely people that that uh, that jump on and, and leave comments through, you know, today and, and throughout the weekend, and I certainly appreciate that. But uh, what can we do or how can I help you fulfill what it is that you want to do or reach your goal for the second half of 2022. Think about it. You know, if you want to, leave a comment here below so maybe perhaps others can help you as well or uh, send us a direct message and, and let us know how we can help you moving forward into the second half of 2022. Uh, what else do we got here? Last week I started uh, something new. I started something called Thursday, uh, Thursday Thoughts, right? Um, and this week's Thursday thought was fact checkers, uh, because we all love them, right? Yeah. Fact checkers. Just because they say they're fact checkers doesn't mean it's actually fact, right? 
And I'm kind of curious what everybody else's input or opinion is on uh, on fact checkers. And let's keep it civil if you're going to leave a comment about it. But I thought it was, honestly, I thought it was kind of funny. Fact checkers, because they say they're fact. So that was Thursday's thought this week. Um, what would you guys miss this week? I think last week I kind of teased you with the new show that joined the network. We got a new show now called uh, Rise Up Life on Fire, and it's by an organization called battletobe.org. It's a, they are new and they are live. They are live. We got them out early. They, were, they weren't actually supposed to go live until next week. Um, but they, if you go to the Heroes Media Group website, you can see all of the great shows that are on the network, and you can listen to the shows uh, right there on their on their um, show page, or find them on a, wherever you like to listen to your podcast. But uh, rise, rise up, life on fire is live right now, and the uh, it's brought to you in part by Battle to Be. Dot org. Go check out that organization. They're doing some pretty cool things. So go check it out. Let's get started, guys. Let's get started on what you missed on the shows this week because we had a lot of cool topics this week, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited about it. First up in the queue, we got the Arms Room Show. Every Monday, 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, they got a new episode that drops. This week, they're discussing necessary shooting range gear and keeping your live fire practice simple and focused. Excuse me. How many shooters do we have out there? How many How many of you like to go to the range and practice? And there's a lot of things going on uh, with 2A stuff. We're not going to talk about that this week. That's next week. But um, this is a good show. I, I, I love the Arms Room show. They, they are the OGs of the HMG. Uh, one of the OG podcast of the HMG network. So go check it out. Discussing ne necessary shooting range gear and keeping your live fire practice simple and focused. Next up, we got uh, one of our newer shows, uh, Because Bikers Matter podcast. Uh, doing part two this week. Part two of uh, Two Babes on Bikes. Um, they talk about um, what you know, what they do, and this, in this part two, they're talking about um, their trip to Nevada from Chicago. So it's actually this is a, a pretty cool episode. And if you if you've never ridden a motorcycle cross country, you know those of you that, that that love motorcycles, it's 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 kind of breathtaking. To me, it was very therapeutic. Uh, let me see here. Is it a good activity for me to do? Yeah, Travis. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Um, what else do we got here? Pushing Back Chaos. If you're new to watching this show, Pushing Back Chaos was, a, was an old podcast, or excuse me, the guys from this podcast were on another one called Not Your Average Operator. Pushing Back Chaos. This week, Darkness. It's an area of absent or lacking light, right? And it can be in a physical location. It can be in a in a uh, a mental state, right? Or it can be like a like an emotional overcast. Like darkness has many different places, right? And this week, it's uh, someone who has experienced all three simultaneously. They have a very special guest. Um, and a former teammate of Mike's, he's a EOD guy, which explosive ordnance disposal. Uh, his name is Rico. He's a 20-year combat veteran of the global war on terror. Rico joins the team to share his story, his career, but not to boast or brag about his service, but to share some of the valuable lessons from his military experience that ultimately prepared him for the worst day of his life as a man after retirement, I want you guys to think about that. He's an EOD guy, spent 20 years in the military, and the worst day of his life was after his retirement. Um, so they're going to scrape away common misconceptions about stress, mental, and emotional health. Um, and, yeah, it, it, it this one... It, uh, the, 
you know, there's a reason why they call it darkness. There's a lot of it in, in the on, in this episode, but there's a lot of things that you take away from it. So go, uh, go check that out. That's this week's pushing back chaos. Uh, next up, we got the power of investing in people podcast with our gal Shay Sparks. You know, I feel like right now with Shay, it's kind of like. Oh, I'm dating myself here. How many of you out there remember the game Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like Where in the World is Shea Sparks right now? Shea Sparks is on her tour going up and down uh, the West Coast uh, right now. And I think the last post I saw, I think she was in Vegas, and then I think she's in. Was she in Vegas or Utah or, or something like that? I don't know. But the Power of Investing in People podcast. This week she talks with uh, Scott Ritzmeyer. He founded uh, Scale Architects to help businesses across the country identify the right growth strategy and find the right guides to get them uh, on the fast track uh, to success and stay there as long as possible. Right now, he splits his time between coaching coaches uh, and consultants and traveling across the country, speaking and consulting with founders, CEOs, and their teams to help them not only grow, but to scale their business uh, without much hassle at all. So go check that out. That's this week's The Power of Investing in People podcast with our gal, Shea Sparks. Next up, our buddy, hey, Travis is on here. Oscar Mike Radio. Listen, if you missed out on Oscar Mike Radio, he he does a a live interview on uh, usually Thursday nights. Last night was uh, was a great one. He had a, a very special guest. He was on site uh, with uh, a very special guest, Julie, uh, to discuss about uh, her cousin. And what the family was doing to kind of keep his name uh, alive. Her cousin, uh, Matt, was a special forces operator, uh, 20th group, uh, which is the Maryland National Guard special special forces group uh, down there. And they, they created um, a foundation uh, for him. And I will leave that in the links below to check that out. But they... They are doing some incredible things with with this foundation, and the goal, you know, to keeping his his name alive. Actually, it was kind of cool. His his call sign name was uh, Blackbeard, and you'll see why when you go when I uh, send the link out out and whatnot. Go check it out. Um, what they're doing to uh, keep his legacy going, and and what they're what the foundation is doing for the veteran community. So check it out. That's this week's Oscar Mike radio. It's a great interview. And um, yeah, Oscar Mike radio, our buddy Travis, he's uh, in the comment section there and make sure you're following him. Good dude. Uh, let's see here. What do we have next? Well, the women's expressions on leadership, learning and Liberty. With host John Krotek this week, Leanne Spoff, uh, Spurford, Senior Vice President, Marketing and Business Development of Envoy and the Gapman Institute. Um, she comes on, uh, talks about her love for nature, enthusiastic styles uh, to always make things better and more than enough to motivate all of us to seek something deeper in life. Uh, no matter what life can throw at us, there's always positive ways to adjust. Ways that make the world a better place. Good conversation here. Go check that out. That's this week's Well podcast. Uh, let me see here. Next up, we have Licensed for Love. This was a good one. This uh, title of this one, Military Service Member Makes a Bold Move for Self-Care. Um, this week they talk with a young man, uh, of only 25 years old, his name's Christian, uh, and he's fast tracking in the Navy career rise. He feels like he's the master of his own universe, but inside he feels something's mastering him. And, and does he, does he risk rejection by talking about it? 
being on active duty in the military is is big responsibility, right? We all know it. Twenty four seven. You rarely you rarely get sick days, if ever. Um, can't be late. Can't call into work. Or you can't quit your job. So, what do you do when in your bones you know that you need to regroup for self care? It's a great question. Mental health in this country is there's still a stigma attached to it? It's a great question. Um, a stereotype to overcome, can it hurt you if you're honest with your chain of command? That it hurt this Navy sailor, and where is he now? They go in. So these are really great questions that they that they ask, and and I think some of these questions, you know, if you say that you have a mental health issue, does it hurt your chances of promotion or moving forward in your career? Find out what uh, this young man Christian has to say, and where is he now in his career? Check it out. This is a good, uh, good episode. License for Love. Uh, next up, we have the Live Free series with our man Jay Lee. Uh, had a chance to talk with Jay earlier this week, and uh, it's good to see him out with this episode here. Uh, this one here, he is talking with uh, U.S. Army veteran author, and host of Drive On Podcast, Mr. Scott Deluzio. Uh, during their conversation, uh, Scott shares his remarkable story of resilience, fighting off to toxic mentalities, and how he drove on uh, to rediscover his purpose. So check that out. It's a cool uh, cool episode, the Live Free series. And Scott's actually, he puts on a good show over there at the Drive On Podcast. I've, I've listened to that one uh, as well. So check those out. Uh, Live Free series with our man Jay talking with Scott. Next up we have, we got your six at six with our friends from the People's Patriot Project. Every Sunday night, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Make sure you go on to their Facebook page. You can watch them live. They do like a round circle, a lot of good discussions, a lot of great veteran musicians uh that come on the show so go check that out sunday night 6 p.m central standard time over at the people's patriot project facebook page uh next up environmentally speaking this episode uh special guest Alyssa richardson Alyssa is a professor, professional engineer, excuse me, uh, currently working with the Rhode Island Department of Transportation. She is the um, acting administrator of the environmental division at that particular agency. And prior to being at DOT, Alyssa worked for the Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management. So she shares her story and they talk about what it means to being a, an expert in that field um, and it was pretty interesting going from the uh, department of environmental management over to the department of transportation and how those two kind of sometimes either butt heads or or uh, what the transportation department has to do to meet environmental management uh, department's uh, regulations and stuff so it's pretty cool paul what's up brother how you doing thanks for jumping on man Hope everything is good. Great show this week. Those of you, Mr. Paul McFadden down there, a.k.a. Mellon, part of the uh, Pushing Back Chaos group. I like to call them the Three Amigos. <laughs> I say that because I, I know Raph isn't going to see this. So. <laughs> All right, move. <laughs> Moving on, next one. We got time to shine today with our buddy Scott Ferguson. Hey, uh, this week, find your passion, share your story, make a difference. This week's interview is with author and coach uh, Michelle Prite, uh, Prince. Excuse me, Michelle Prince. She is a best-selling author, motivational speaker, publishing expert, and the co uh, CEO and founder of Performance Publishing Group a partner publishing company dedicated to making a difference one story 
at a time. She's helped thousands tell their story and become published authors and founded the Bookbound Workshop. She has also published many successful books, including her best-selling winning, award-winning, uh, or excuse me, including her best-selling book, Winning in Life Now, and her latest book, The Power of Authority. Go check that out. That's this week's Time to Shine today. Stay with me, guys. We only got a couple more left here, uh, and we got some really, some really good ones. Uh, Label Free Podcast. This week, Josh Rhodes. He's a corporate sales leader, transitioned into uh, the president of Inc. 5000 firms, and has, has exited several ventures successfully. He's a published author of Digital Agent Secrets. Um, he's built a, a SaaS and learning platform in the real estate niche that has served over 40,000 real estate agents in the last decade. Wow. He's, uh, now he founded Crypto, y'all, uh, because he loves crypto. Um, and you're going to learn more about that. So check that out. That's this week's uh, Label Free Podcast. All right, next up we got uh, the MSEC Podcast, Military Child Education Coalition. This week, uh, the topic is guiding how our children process race. And they use Sesame Street to discuss resources that can help prepare military families on the conversation of race racial justice military child education coalition is a nonprofit organization uh, i say this every week if you are active duty guard reserve or a veteran and you have children of age that are still in school they have a ton of resources over there go to militarychild.org um, check them out um, last show of the week here we got ubaldi reports uh, they did a live feed last night and i jumped on and uh, they were, this week's topic was, uh, if not Biden, then who? And the Baldy reports, this is, it's just fact. This is, there's no fiction. And these guys go, they rip everybody. And it's, it's awesome. They had a special guest on last night. And they were talking about uh, prepping for the 2024 election and who the uh, Democrat Party was going to have if, Biden doesn't run again. So it was pretty interesting. Um, wasn't anything bad. It was just kind of like very interesting to, to hear their thoughts on who m might run. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to our sponsors because I couldn't do this without you guys. Simper Savage, best salad dressing marinades on the planet. Go to Simper Savage and get you some. Our friends over at My Tax Fella does all of our bookkeeping and, and uh, taxes at the end of the year. Go check them out, my tax fella. Sanando Terra Customs, great guy. Uh, my buddy Jimmy Boggs owns that company, does these uh, wooden flags and a slew of other things. He also did our, can't really show you here, but the uh, my desk, the coffee desk that we have. Uh, 2A Republic, uh, black and white T-shirts. If you use discount code HMG, you'll get... 10% uh, off at the uh, checkout. Short Mountain Distillery, it's our uh, friends over at Short Mountain Distillery. They do work with our sister company, whew, work with our sister company that do our, our spirit line, our bourbon and our gins. And we got some other stuff that's going to be uh, hopefully coming here soon. So check that out. JB Auto Clothiers, this is a newer company and um, they're doing some pretty good things. A couple months ago, you guys remember I was down in Tampa, did the show, and JB Auto Clothiers uh, was working with Team Auto, and Team Auto ended up uh, donating like $20,000 in suits. Well, JB Auto Clothiers uh, went in and suited 18 veterans that day to uh, for these suits and stuff. So go check them out. Um, they're doing some big things getting ready to do some big things keep your eye out for that and of course last and certainly not least our sister company hmg beverage we got our coffee line coming up remember we're going to start doing pre-orders july 15th um and you'll start seeing what the logos and stuff look like when uh i get off my ass and start posting stuff <laughs> 
So, yeah, I'm going to throw myself under the bus there. Whatever. Um, that's, that's really it guys. But let me, let me, before you guys go, let me tell you something here real quick. Again, it's, it's, we're getting ready to go into part two of 2022 and I'm dead serious, dead serious. How can I help you? How can HMG help you get to where you want to go? Think about it. Leave a comment below. Um, because maybe there's somebody else that's watching this or that leaves a comment here, one of these fine people that have left comments this morning. We're all here to help. We, we, we're in this together. So let me know what we can do for you. Leave a message. Drop me a message. Leave a comment below. Otherwise, have a safe weekend. All right? God bless you. God bless America. I'll see you guys next week.